Oops, there we go. Okay, you guys, we are officially live on both of our channels. Yay! It's cool. I cannot tell you how excited I am about um, this one and next month and the next month. You're, um, you're stuck with me every month. Um, I'm it. more than excited to be stuck with you. And for any of you who are popping on, like, this is going to be, we're so excited about this series because, again, we talk about we talk about makeup, but I kind of feel like we talk about perfume on a daily basis. A, like 80% of yeah. our conversations are perfume based. Yeah. And then we'll <laughs> we'll put in a little bit of makeup. Um, then we'll be like, yeah. But anyhow, so then we were talking about how we could like make this into a fun series and that will also be sort of educational as well, because we both just go crazy of over. Like, you know, that we were junkies, so we're not saying, but we also thought this could be educational by doing a note series. And this is about cardamom. Yay! <laughs> because I get asked all the, I think sometimes I get on, I'm very um, guilty of this. I get on like my perfume videos and I start listing notes thinking that everybody knows yeah. what that note smells like. And I'm like, right. I might know it because I can eat, sleep, and breathe perfume, but other people might not. So I feel like this is going to be good. I think so, too, because I'm like you. I'm like, ooh, or I just, I like often describe things as a feeling versus mm -hmm. like um, note per se, because yeah. notes can be. I'm trying to get better at that. Perfume, yeah. though, you can have the same notes in a perfume be similar and they can be completely different. Yep. So, um, and this one I think is so exciting because it is, I would say, you know, an aromatic, but it has warm and cool. Like it can be really fresh on some people and it also can, but it has this warm underbelly. Would you say? So I looked up the, the definition. Okay. I have it right here and I have a couple of them, but my favorite one said that it is classified as a fresh, um, very aromatic spice with a eucalyptus and rosemary effect, which Ooh. I can kind of see with a hint of pepper and lemon. Yes. And it, can, and it can be reminiscent of baking a crisp green apple pie. <laughs> yes, that is so good. I'm like, doesn't, doesn't that describe it? To me, that describes it. Yes, because there's and I like that little herbalness that you just yes. cut. To me, I also love it to say that it's sort of like let's say it's slightly cool outside and you walk outside with your cup of coffee mm -hmm. or your chai. Yeah, tea. it can yeah, it can definitely smell like chai tea for so, sure. But it's got that warmth. Um and it, so it's got that kind of warmth, but it also has that little bit of fresh kind of like crisp that apple pie i love yes. that but it's not green like when someone says no. uh, like a green fragrance it's not green to me um yes I'm abby kidding. does have a youtube channel she has oh. a fabulous youtube channel <laughs> um hello hello everybody hey, everyone oh, i love this so much you guys and it's so nice to um Oh, good. You can see the comments too. I right? do. But if, if you see my hand going up like that, it's because I have to click onto another screen okay. to check the comments. So I'm I'm occasionally doing that. So it's and, it's not the best when I do this on my phone, but it's easiest for me and my setup. Um, I love it. Ooh, but I love this so much. Like, like I, us, uh, I didn't even know. I did not even know that I really liked cardamom until probably three months ago when I was like looking up some, I had like, a few favorites at the time and I was looking up some notes on them and I realized that cardamom was in every single every one and I'm like I think I really like cardamom and the more yeah. I researched it the more I realized yes I have quite a few scents that are in my top favorites that have cardamom in yes. them so I think this is perfect so what we did we each have five or six we've got a top five and then if we have some time we'll yep. kind of add on the sixth one um and we are going to kind of piggyback off a couple of them. And then yeah. we're just going to talk about some of our favorites and what they smell like to us mm -hmm. and why we love them. So I feel like the first one that we should start out with is the one that we can kind of piggyback on. Yeah, right? I love okay. it. I love it. So, yes, because I do not have yours. And so I'm I'm excited. OK, okay. so we're going to talk about Gris Charnel. 
Ooh. And Abby has the original. I have a 10 mil decant of the original, um, but I have the full bottle of the extract. So I know you are so good at, you've already um, sprayed these. I spray them um, like right before I talk about them. No, no, and no. I have all six of these on my body right now. <laughs> I, I, I wrote her and I was like, what are you going to wear today? She's like, honey, we're going to wear all of them. All and I was like, you're right. You're right. Mm. Okay. All right. So okay. you talk about what is Grey Charnel, Char what is Grey Charnel smell like um, to you? The to original. Me, this is your cashmere. <laughs> and then I've got an interesting note. So this, you guys, has fig in it. So I love Big. I'm so glad your dog barked first because oh my goodness, yes. um, oh, and guess what? I'm gonna be talking about that Joe Malone. She's so cute. So yes. Um, so to me, I think I love this because it has that fig, but it's got black tea in here, obviously, cardamom. Mm -hmm. um, but when I first started wearing this was in the winter months, and I was like, oh, cozy warm but i was just in san francisco with my son and we went to G, um, zgo perfumery and my son is somebody who likes fresh cooler fragrances chanel bleu is him you know he's a uh -huh. that's him and it was so interesting because he picked this out as his pick and it was funny because i it had this aromatic very fresh cool element mm -hmm. on his chemistry and then after kind of talking to the gentleman and someone else had even said that on them it wears a little bit more cool but I when I think of this it's very cocooning and cozy but that's what I think cardamom so amazing is because mm -hmm. got both of the elements of it's fresh it's an aromatic yeah, yeah. So, I think of, I of the original Grey Charnel as being like the white t-shirt leather jacket Doc Martens like that kind of Yes. That kind of thing. Like that, that is the outfit I think of when I think of the original and then the mm. X straight. Yeah. Tell me about, I've smelled it. I, I, but yeah, go ahead. Okay. So I got a sample of this one. Like I said, I have a 10 mil decant of the original and absolutely love it. Got a sample of this and promptly purchased it <laughs> because Ooh. it is very similar. It is not something that is completely different from the original. Okay. okay. But yeah. I do feel like if you are a perfume junkie, you could warrant, because I know you were talking about this with Bismuth the other day. Yes, you I could was. warrant having both of them. She's like, I need it. I need this, it. One, this one is, is Grey Charnel original yeah. amped up a little bit, but it also on the dry down is sweeter to me. Like, I feel like that. Look at the sweet. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, no, I wasn't trying to. Who can talk about perfume when you have that face? Oh, uh, sorry. He was going a little nuts. So we're going to put him right here. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Okay. So I want you to describe my outfit. So, okay. I, I feel like the fig is a little less pronounced. In this yes. Book. Okay. The cardamom is amped up. So it's Ew. even spicier. Yes. And I feel like the tonka is amped up. So as Ooh. it dries down, yeah. it, it's sweeter to me. A little bit sweeter than the original on the dry down. But the cardamom is definitely the main player in this throughout the entire thing. I've seen a lot of people say this is masculine. I personally don't find it masculine. I would love it if Chad wore it, but right. I personally don't find it masculine, See, any more masculine than the original. I tried it on just the strip, you uh -huh. know, ran over, it had launched and I ran over and smelled it. Yep. And it felt like it leaned a little bit more masculine and, you know, I'm like, Girl. On the on the on the first on the yes. like the initial spray, the cardamom is so there and so yes. spicy that I can see where someone would say that. But once you get past that first ten minutes, it, yes. it becomes more reminiscent of the original again with a little less fig, a little more vanilla and tonka. See, and that's I love vanilla and tonka. So I, I, I just I, on this, my skin, it just gets sweeter as it dries down. Ooh, it's and so I, good. This goes back to kind of needing to try it on your mm -hmm. chemistry. You know, this was me running over and then kind of being like, oh, it's leaning a little too masculine. Right. Good, I don't have to buy. It. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, and like I said, on the first like the first ten mm -hmm. minutes, I can see that, but it also lasts longer on me than the original. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah I just I feel like it's just a little bit more amped up. So oh, oh my gosh. That was good. Um, so I think either one, but I think I was just laughing, you guys. I was so surprised when my son picked this for like oh, it, I think it would smell amazing on it on a and guy. he smelled like so good that I was just like, oh, you know, and then I came home and then I've had like a re-love affair with this because I you know how you go through phases where you're oh, like, yeah. oh. Um, oh yeah. And I came home, I was like, I freaking love this. And now I've got my husband on it. And this yes. is a big deal because he has gotten, he's coming around and he's. Look, I have gotten, Chad went from having one cologne and or fragrance in his collection since we met. And he's got like 10 now. And yeah. I think he's so overwhelmed that he's like, I can't do anymore. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you say that now. But you can do my husband. I'll get like the samples and I'll have them, you know, the little strips and I'll be like, hey, can you smell? He's like, you know, like depending know. on the work days, like hand, okay, later. I know. I make Chad <laughs> always smell through them. And then if we ever have the same favorite, which you is have. rare because he's very, very, very picky, but there's been a couple of times where I'll get some samples and we'll go through them and I'll be like, what's your favorite? And he tells me, and I'm like, okay. And I go straight to order it. <laughs> yes. I'm like that's, that's the only justification I needed. I love that. Oh my gosh. Woo! Okay. Yay. So this was a good piggyback and I'm really glad yep. because Bisma was telling me that I needed it. I, re I mean, I really do think that it, it's different enough for now. I don't, I think if you're someone who does not want to have an extensive collection like we do, Maybe just get one or the other. Yeah. Knowing how we are, I do think that you um, would gosh. appreciate having both. We always tell people we're crazies. You guys, you do not have to be like us. Like we're always on the hunt. So always, just, you know, yeah. <laughs> always. But, like I'm waiting for samples right now but, yeah. <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> or next month's series too. Oh, so okay. Excited. All right. You want to go next? I'm um, sure. Okay. You guys, this one, I think when we decided to do cardamom, like I already knew my number one and I'm in love with this. And literally this is fragrance du bois. This is Minui et Demi. Um, for many of you fellow frag heads, many of you know Demi uh, Raleigh. <laughs> She is the guru, but she created a perfume with Fragrance Dubois, but like literally, I just love it. This was, I actually did blind buy it because um, I generally like a lot of her um, scents, but this one, oh, you guys, it's so like, I just love it. It is like walking into a Parisian mm. coffee house, getting a really frothy, um, I want to say like a caramel mocha latte, like something really like a treat, you know, like a special treat. And, um, and it just, it's like so comforting, but it's also sexy. It's addictive. This is total compliment getter. Um, and I don't know. I just love it. I already would you, would you classify it? Cause I've smelled it before. I don't have the whole thing, but I've definitely smelled it before. Would you classify it as a gourmand? Because I've heard some people do and some people don't. I would. Yes. Yeah. You definitely got to me. It has this baked good. Mm. Like I literally feel like I'm going into a fancy coffee shop, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's going to have like artisan pastries yep. and like the drinks are going to take a little longer because they're going to put a little love in the cup. Yep. You're going to have a, a picture on your phone. <laughs> I'm going to have a little artistic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so to me, yes, I categorize this as a gourmand. And I think also it has this coffee note in here. Mm -hmm. But this one, because I'm going to talk about one other one with coffee, because I think coffee and cardamom they go, go so good together. Yeah. But this one is your latte. Okay. okay. So, so, but that caramel and that coffee, and then it's just, yeah, I don't, it, I just love it. So, do have you, you ever smelled coffee addict? No. Uh -uh. Oh my goodness. How have and you not? So, I wonder, I just wonder how you feel like those. Um, because like, coffee addict doesn't have cardamom, but it's got the caramel and the coffee. So, I'm just curious. But the one it gets um, compared to, and we're going to talk a little bit of yeah. it at the end, but I'll just flash it up. Um, I had changing constants first and love. Yeah. <laughs> but this one I think is more salted caramel, Ooh. whereas this one has a caramel note in here, but coffee. It has okay. depth. Okay. Yep. Like this one's going to be 
sweet, yummy, cinnamon, delicious. Um, this one's going to have that grounding coffee note. So, oh, but yeah, I mean, you're going to smell the cardamom. Like, that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's going to be like, I guess we need to say it's a caramel cardamom latte. Ooh, I kind of want that. I know. I want to go to the This isn't, isn't going to be chai. This is in the coffee yeah. realm. So, you, um, do you have you but, a dirty chai, by the way? I'm just, oh, yeah. This, and yeah. do we like it? I like I, it. I love any chai. Okay. I, I am a chai lover. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a tea lover in general. Like I like a, a cup of hot tea, but I don't go into a coffee shop and it's like, fix me a tea unless it's a chai. Okay. Yay. Oh, Rouge Charest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rouge Charest. I just, I just trying to go through all of my samples and I just sprayed <laughs> that yesterday. Um, Cause I do have a sample of that one. That's very pretty. Okay. You're next lady. Okay. So this one is one of the newer ones, but I've still had it for about a month in my collection. And this is one that I got after I realized, oh, hey, I love cardamom. <laughs> so <laughs> this is from, and I, is Ooh. it Le, Liquid Imaginaires? Yeah, Liquid, Liquid, I can't, you believe me, yeah. you know, pronunciations, right. guys, we apologize in advance. I don't know about you, but I'm not French. I no. can't. Always I, look, I was born and raised in Nashville and I took <laughs> Spanish in school. Okay. <laughs> French is not my forte. I so did I, take a little French, so that's a little bad because I know <laughs> Well, the brand is the Lay Liquid Imaginaires and it's Desert Suave. So wait, do I need this? Because this is, you guys have been talking about it and I'm like, oh. I love it so much. Now I'm looking at Fragrantica and like the, the pyramid has sweet on the top. I would not categorize this as a sweet fragrance, but I think they do that because it's got dates in it. Okay. Yeah. And I have, I have smelled other perfumes with dates that I wasn't a fan of. Yeah. But this I'm a fan of because it also has sesame. And I oh, love like, sesame as a like note. a little nuttiness or yes. a little, little. Yep. It's got a little mm. bit of nuttiness. It has orange blossom, but that cardamom mm. is definitely there. I'm not going to say cardamom is the front runner like it was in the Gris Charnel extract, yeah. but yeah. you can smell it. Okay. But I feel yeah. like, I feel like it's, it's dates, sesame and cardamom is what I get the most mm. in this. Oh, it smells good. It smells like, like it smells really good. So it does have a tiny bit of sweetness from the dates, but it's not. It's not as sweet. It's not as sweet. It's not like a, it doesn't have any vanilla and it's not like a cloying, you know. It's got. Sweet. No, no, no. Just has we, that undertone it, of that dried fruit. Is it more feminine leaning? Definitely. It's very can. unisex. Okay, very yeah. unisex. Yeah. I could. I could totally see Chad wearing this and I would really like it. And <laughs> I like to look, I like to look at perfumers. Yes. Of, um, perfumes to see, like, I think it's fun to see how many perfumes you like from the same perfumer. And yes. is oh, yeah. he, I mean, he's amazing. He's right? amazing. amazing. He, that's so funny. Cause I love a lot of his. And then we yeah. also love the Cecile. Uh, Zerokian. Yeah. 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 She's awesome. But Quentin Beach did one of my top five favorite patchouli magnetics. So I'm like, if I see that, like if I have a favorite yeah, and I go and I look at who the perfumer is, I will go look at other things that he or she has done. And then I'll start making a list from that. Yeah. That's a good way. I think that's also a really good tip for people just starting into like, they'll say, oh, which I start in. Like you can yes. start with notes. Like you, like you said, you love cardamom yep. or the perfume. The actual perfumer of something that you already know you love. Yes. Um, but Quentin Beach has, he's got a very, very, very respectable resume. But this oh, is. Oh, he's amazing. This is so good, y'all. If you Perfect. like. If you like dates, uh, I saw someone said that they love dates and that they love cardamom. Definitely, definitely check out Desert Suave. It's um, a full rotation for me this fall and winter. But I'll I'll wear this all year round, no problem. Um, no, okay, because I that's one where Mandy and I wish that we lived right next to each uh -huh. other. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to move to Nashville, but she she, is. Has, she, she hasn't agreed. <laughs> I have a couple times, but then I have, I got to come visit. That's just yes. a brainer. But, um, but we were like that way we could just run across the street from and be like, Hey, <laughs> oh. 
Um, okay, this All is right, what's your next one? Sorry if you're hearing background noise because I've got um I've got male and yard guys. Um <laughs> so it's not bad for me. Here. Okay, good. Yeah. Um okay, I'm going with one with that was already mentioned. Um she said she wears it all the time. You guys, this is a classic. It is Joe Malone, Mimosa, and Cardamom. You yep. love Mimosa too, right? I love Mimosa. This is one. I don't have this scent, but I have the oil perfumery oil. Oh, oil good. Yeah. And I keep it in my purse and it because it's just so easy. It's every day. It's all seasons. It always smells good for every occasion. I love it. And this is, I was a Joe Malone girl for, you know... <laughs> Been a, from the beginning, before it came to the state, mm -hmm. I have a funny story because my husband had to go for work over there, but then he went out with a bunch of friends and they'd had a few too many. <laughs> they'd been at the pub and he forgot my Joe Malone. Like I didn't <gasps> go to Joe Malone because they didn't have him in the States. And so let, needless to say, I was a little bit upset. <laughs> A little bit. Don't oh, listen to my perfume. <laughs> I had to call the hotel and they actually sent it to me. But that's why I was like, you've left me at home. You know, you're, you know, with all the kids. And uh -huh. you can bring me my perfume back. Uh <laughs> so this is, yeah, it's been a long time. This is a long time passion here. But this one is a warm floral cardamom. Just <laughs> definitely. But it's got a little bit of that powderiness from the mimosa <laughs> this one is office appropriate like i yep. wanted to include like a very easy like non-offensive like perfect I, and it just smells like this is a no-brainer scent yep. I, I you know you just put it on yep. it makes me feel happy and um it's just really pretty so i just I feel, feel like i feel yeah. like mimosa can be described as fuzzy sometimes yeah like it's like a a fuzzy kind of feeling yeah then you've got the little bit of the spice from the cardamom it's a great combination i don't know that i would have thought to put those together in perfume but it definitely works and i think for people that like let's say they don't really like um like spicy scents or anything like that or maybe you're not necessarily like a floral lover yeah i feel like this bridges the gap would yeah you they cut like they they balance each other uh off enough fresh too. Yep. It also, I would say the cardamom in here is going to be fresher. Yep. Um, that, you know, as far as when I think of, it still has warmth in it, but it's not like, like these other coffee drinks were. Right. Talking. <laughs> right. It is definitely, it, de it definitely has more floral because when I look at a lot of the ones I'm going to talk about, the, the main florals, if I have any are like violet and iris and yeah. like more purple. I mean, there was some orange blossom, but you don't, that's, I don't know that I have any with a yellow floral in it, like mimosa. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I like that. Good choice. And like I said, I have the rollerball from Oil Perfumery. And exactly. that, in addition to the Joe Malone sprays, mm. makes the Joe Malone last last longer. Um, and it's it's really, I, I wear those um, roll-ons to bed a lot because they're so simple and yeah, they work so well. Okay. We're doing one. I know that you have this one. So I have, I love it. Probably, <laughs> I think I have close to 300, if not 300 to 400 samples. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to, to make to my way through. <laughs> no, oh my goodness. No. Um, <laughs> that I am trying to make my way through. And I have gotten to a point in my actual full bottle collection where a sample has to, from the get go, really wow me to be like, I need this for, with a full, for a full bottle. Because I, a lot of times I'll smell something and I'm like, oh, I have something similar. Do I really want to spend that money? But mm. this wowed me from the first spray. So, and when you, this is also a testament to yeah. not taking notes so seriously. Yes. Yes. Because if I would have looked at these notes, I would nope. have automatically said, nope, not for me. And Except for the cardamom. Let's talk about what we're talking about. This is <laughs> Ormond, Ormond Jane Woman. Oh, and my goodness. Signature scent worthy. Oh, my goodness, yes. It is. I had always heard this described as like a green fragrance, which typically makes me run for the hills. I yeah. don't like green. I don't like citrus, overly citrus. And the first note listed on Fragranica is grass. <laughs> I'm like, 
if I want to smell grass, I'll go outside. I don't Does necessarily this have one to say wear. hemlock too. It is. It? It's got yeah. black hemlock. That's what yes. say. Did that note too? You're like, huh? Right. Um, Do I really it, want that on me? It's got coriander, cardamom is on the top, violet, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, and amber. I love all the base notes, yeah. but it's that hemlock and grass. And I was like, I just don't know. No, I can't explain this. This is addictive as it's all get out. So good. And truly one of the top five signature scent worthy yeah. fragrances in my collection. Like there is not a single place, event, time, season, no. day where this would not be appropriate, in my and, opinion. I and I also feel like it just it becomes you. Like one of the you know how certain perfumes that just yep. like it becomes you and it's so like, oh, I, I mean, it's, we, we both. <laughs> it's, it's really hard for me to explain um, like how, how much. Cause is, I've been for something different with along that yes. Ormond Jane and they all, I feel like Ormond Jane does have a green note throughout. Yeah. Like there That's is a DNA in there. And then I laugh because I ended up coming out with this one. Yeah. Oh, I you got know. the discovery set of this. Um, yes. And out of all of them, she's got great ones. That I, yeah. I like her Frangipani. Yeah. Um, I think it's Tolu that yeah. I like. Love that. But I love this one. This it's was the one that I'm like, yes, take my money. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> I want this in my collection. I <laughs> so, love that so much. The cardamom in this is definitely a supporting player. It is not, there's not a single note to me that stands out. It's so smooth and well blended. It's just. Well, even when you were, we were talking, I was like, oh yeah, it does have cardamom. It's a, it's, yeah. it's a smooth operator. Yep. Like it's yep. not going to scream. It's not uh, going to scream any one note, but you no. can tell that that spice is in there. It is definitely a supporting player. Oh, it's so good. Cannot yeah. recommend it enough. This is like, I got to spray some of that on. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I love it. Okay. Yes. Am I going on to my next You're one? You're going on to your next one. Okay. We're going to stick with, we're going to come back to some coffee. And this one, you guys, I just have um, the atomizer size, but this is Killian and this is intoxicated. And I don't know uh, if anybody's, there was some hype about this years back. Um, and okay, I just love this one because it is like Turkish coffee. This one is deaf. So when we say about cardamom, this, the first screaming note of this is going to be that. Cardamom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you described in the beginning about cardamom having that rosemary uh -huh. and, and this one has kind of... that herbalness so okay. there to me, and I don't want it to turn anybody off because it's definitely like Turkish coffee and it's got that yummy, it's a rich, dense uh -huh. coffee note, but there's a soapy element or a clean fresh element which i find so interesting it's almost like um i don't want to say spearmint but it's there's a little herbal uh -huh. in there um where i feel like i've just come out of the shower and i'm having turkish coffee okay but i'm clean i have that yummy like soap smell <laughs> okay so it's more fresh and herbal than it is it's sweet. both. Yeah, it's it's not as sweet this one okay. i would not call as a totally sweet player um okay we've had that at the, but this right. one is so there is something where you're just like, Oh, um, you get little wafts of this. Um, I have, so I have never smelled this, but I have okay. a sample coming to my mailbox today. So I'm so you excited. Really, I, yeah. think, I can't wait for you. There's, there's cinnamon. Let me read the notes for people. Cause this one's cardamom number one. Okay. Yep. Mocha coffee, cinnamon has a little bit of sweet tobacco. It's, I okay. wouldn't I, I mean, I love tobacco. So, and then you're gonna like this one because vanilla and patchouli. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you don't know, I am a I'm one of those patchouli lovers. Like, and, I love patchouli. I think the only thing you might be thinking is like with that soapness. Yeah, like that. There's something that I'm loving about it. I mean, I don't want. You think to I'm gonna like it? I I think you are, but like, okay, it has a little Irish spring. Okay. I love that's not necessarily bad it's not I don't mind fresh as much yes. as I mind like green 
And right. I think when I'm saying fresh, like you described it better, like rosemary, a little yeah. bit of like that herbal freshness that way. But I kind of like it because I think I just feel like I came out of the shower, but then I'm going to be drinking my yummy coffee. And I've got that. It's, you know, coffee with a kick. There's so would you say it's like a daytime fragrance or um, nighttime I, or both? I feel like this one can go both. Like that's okay. what I like about it because it is like the word intoxicated. It is one of those where you're like, ooh, I feel a little, you know, I get high on perfume. Yeah. Well, oh, and I, it must be I, unisex because I listened to a podcast and one of the guys um, was talking and he said it's his favorite scent of all time. This is oh, really? intoxicated. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So I'm so glad. I can't wait for you to try it later because yeah. I'm. I, you know, again, had gotten the whole little set of these yep. and liked a bunch of them, but this one kind of stood out to me. Um, okay. I'll and text I, you and let, yeah, let you but know it's definitely this one you're going to smell cardamom up at the front for sure. Okay. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get my mail. All right. I don't know if you have this one, Abby. I think you've smelled it though. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Olaf did. She's like, Olaf wants to speak. He certainly does. I don't know. Zeus does too, but I can't put him, I can't pick him up and put him in my lap. <laughs> that will not work. He spoke to Abby before we went live. <laughs> I love him. Okay. This okay. one. Oh my goodness gracious. Have you smelled the Carnival Barcelona? No, that's the oh, one. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay. This is the one you've told me that I needed, Rima. Yes. Yes. <laughs> This is Rima 11 from Carner, Barcelona. I, first of all, probably my favorite packaging that I have because there is something about a square bottle yeah. that does it for me. Like I love, I like even the BDK, like how they're yes. rounded. I love, I love the MFK square bottle. Yeah, me too. I love a square bottle. And this is like as yeah, that's straight just... like squares you can get. This is one that I would say, this is heavily spiced, okay? So it has cardamom on the top. Oh, it has black pepper on the top. It has nutmeg and cinnamon in the mm -hmm. middle. So this is like the spiciest perfume in my collection. And I could never, every time I go to declutter, I'm like, okay, what, what, can, I, what can I get rid of? And then I think, mm, can I get rid of this? No, I, no. I could never be with that. It is so good. It has coriander. But then it's also got mint in it, which okay, gives so a yeah. little bit of balance to the spice. So it's not like it's not obnoxious. Super, yeah. Spicy. Uh, it just kind of anchors it, if that makes sense. Does yeah, that make no, sense? No, no, it does make sense. Because that's why I was saying it sounded like spice bomb, like majorly spicy. Not Yeah, spicy but bomb. it's not. It's You don't feel like you're going to sneeze when you smell it. You know, it's not like you feel like you have been working in a spice shop because it does have that it has Jasmine it has saffron. Um, but then on the base, it gets a little bit sweeter with the vanilla and the Amber. Um, and it's got sandalwood and benzoin. Oh my goodness. It's just, you would love this. It is not any, I'm not going to say it even has the same DNA as Gris Charnel, but I am going to say if you like Gris Charnel, you are going to like this. Okay. That's what I, I want to say that. Because wait, oh. is there, isn't there another one you want? That, or is this the one that you told me I needed? I love this from the line. This is the only full bottle I have. But I also love um, D600. Oh, that's but it is very, very, very similar to Dior Ohm Intense, which I have okay. and love. Yeah, so it, I didn't warrant like getting both of them. I also like Latin Lover. That's I, what I think. Okay, because yeah, really you... You had told me there was another one I remember. Yes. Oh. Um, Tardis is good. Yes. Those are probably my four favorite from the line. But when I, because I got the Discovery set again. And when I got it, this was the immediate have to have. Like, and I have a place I can go locally. <laughs> go today. Go today and text me later and show a picture of the bottle of Rima 11 that you get. <laughs> right. Well, I have like the Mandy list because we're right. going to go back and forth about things and then you kind of get, you know. Oh, you know. it's so good. Ooh. So, so good. If you like a spicy, like I just love a spicy. The more spice you can put in a scent, I love. Yes. Um, but this again is anchored by the amber and the vanilla and the mint. And it doesn't smell like toothpaste. That but then it just helps the spice. 
No, no, I could see oh. where it gives it a little lift, where it can be too, yes. too yep. dense and you can, a little touch. Yes. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, where am I at? Okay, I think I'm... Oh, is this my, my, my du jour? Okay, you guys. Okay. This what one I'm going to share because I have to, but it is this oh, yeah. is crazy expensive, but it is special and oh, okay. It is Roja. This is Sweetie A Oud. I have never smelled this. So you know what? I got to send you, I got to send you this because I think you would love it. Okay. I've it's, heard really good things about it. Um, So I'm a huge fan of Roja perfumes. I like literally, like I laugh if you had to pick one brand that you could just, you know, I don't really need all the others, but I, <laughs> I just like so many of his perfumes. And this one is going to have this really beautiful patisserie accord, but you're definitely going to smell cardamom. You are going to have, there's this butteriness in here and it does have the oud kind of to bring down kind of any of the sweetness. Does that make sense? So yeah. it is a sweeter fragrance. This is like, um, someone described it as like buttery croissants, but That's I, what I was going to ask when you say patisserie, mm -hmm. do you mean bread or do you mean Danish or do you mean donuts? It's, so it's <laughs> funny because they talk about the French macaroon, like it has okay. of the French macaroon, but it is as if I have gone into somebody like a bakery where they're making fresh croissants. So it has that, um, butter yeasty like there's a little bit of that like you go in and I love okay. to bake and so mm -hmm. that kind of baked you know I'm like going something's in. in the oven something just came out of the oven something yes it, 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 yeah it, but the thing what I like about this is that it's going to take me on a complete ride so okay. what you spray out on the front you're like woo um and then throughout the day it has it kind of twists and turns and mm -hmm. it's like really unique and it's for this price you would hope that it yeah. would be. <laughs> she's yeah. like so bad I know you guys this is like this was a little present that I you know so this was but it was one that I was like I kind of fell in love with it and I kept on going back and thinking about it um and then whenever I wear this it makes me feel very special but I love that kind of Four months. It's got an elegant layer to it. I should say it's not all about just baked goods and sweet. It's just it's got this really pretty ride that's gonna take you on. That you're gonna be like, oh my gosh! Like you know when you were smelling yes. something, you're like, who smells good? And he's like, yes. oh, it's <laughs> I always want to be that person. I always, when somebody in the room says, Oh, who smells good? I, I want to raise my hand, even if I don't have perfume on, but it's like, that's what I want. I want to be that person. I think one thing too, I would say is like with Oud, um, I really like Oud, but some Oud can yes. get a little bit fecal. And when we yep. should talk about a little Oud is a wood note, right. um, a specific kind that, um, there is some that I've smelled where I was like, whoa, that is a little bit too animalic or fecal. Like this is going to be all of his fragrances to me are smooth, like operators. Like they, there's not one note that's just going to scream out at me. It's going to be so well blend, blended. You, I want to spray this all over you. I want, have you, have you, um, ever smelled a perfume and i can't remember who does it's an indie house i think but it's called panatone Ooh, have, have you ever smelled I that no but i've heard of that one i haven't either but it it reminds me of like descriptions that i've heard of that one but like freshly baked yes. bread, buttery bread yes and i'm wondering if butter is a note because i know a lot of people put yes. butter buttery and then well because this one's gonna have um patchouli cumin cardamom um it's got you know Gayak wood and cedar wood yeah. in. So it's going to be this, but it has some sweetness because, you know, I like to be. Oh, yes. Like a little pink macaroon on top. Yeah. And I do think Oud can really, I mean, there's a very large spectrum for Oud. Yes. Like there, there can be like what you're saying and then there can be like, you got to love it or you're going to hate it. Um, and it yeah. sounds like yours is more on the you all of it's his more universally liked. Yeah, this isn't yeah. he's not gonna go 
I, you know, he's not going to go into that realm at all. Like, right. He, right. Like I think sometimes people's nose are different because the ones that are so like, I'm literally mm -hmm. that has a little fleet fecal note to it. To yeah. it to me. Like why would I possibly want to smell I know. it? And same with cumin. Like I feel like yes. sometimes cumin can kind of smell. I don't like, almost like urine almost. And I'm like, yes. but then sometimes it can smell fabulous. And to me on the ones that it smells so bad in people rave about the perfumes. I'm like, Oh, I could not, I could never wear that. Like, but, so and this one does have cum. I was a little bit worried about it. Okay. That. I've had that, the pee pee urine thing. Yeah. Like, I'll be like, ask my husband something. It like smells like pee, you know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, you know when they're just blunt. Oh yeah, you, and you're like, yeah, you're right. That does. And then all day long, I'm like, I don't want to smell like that. So that one is a special, like, you know, yes, crazy, but it is like, you know, I will send you a sample. I, I experience because it's one notes. of those that you're gonna be like, whoa, um, you yeah, know. Yeah, you're gonna make me want a five hundred dollar perfume. Thanks, Abby. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt that that is going to go at the top of my wish list. Okay. okay. I have got to talk about this one because I um, discovered this house this past month. Yes. Indie house. And I got on there and you can order little sample vials. And so I ordered like 10 of them. And I really like a lot of them. They have so many options. But this one stood out as like, oh, holy cow, I have to get it. This is from Solstice Scents. Yeah. It's the Indie house. And this is called cardamom rose sugar. See that like okay. to me, like right. everything. I'm kind of surprised because you don't love rose. Then. I know. And that's why I made sure to get the um, sample. And a lot of the reviews say that, you know, it's very heavy on rose. My nose does not do that. Yeah. Here's the thing with rose. I don't dislike all roses. I do not like fresh picked roses. I just yeah. don't. If yeah. I were going, if I were walking through a garden, I have no desire to smell a rose. My right. nose just does not like it. If it's a jammy rose, I'm all about it. You're you like know, oud, oud satin mood. I'm all about. Right. Yeah. So I can't say I don't like rose in any. This is definitely more of a jammy rose. Yes. This is the sweetest one that I'm going to talk about. And to kind of give an uh, idea can... of what it smells like. I got the sample. I put it on early one morning. Chad and I both work from home. So if we are able, we try to both take the girls to school every morning because it's like, you know, with all the sports and stuff, it's some of the best time that we can all be four be together. And I, I had gotten into the car first. He was doing something, came out, got in the car and he's like, holy cow, what smells so good? Okay. And this is Chad. He never, so, he yeah, never you, does that. Oh, no, it's and, good. When <laughs> and, yes. And I was like, oh, that would be me. He was like, oh, it smells like caramel. I'm like, well, okay, I don't really smell that, but that's okay. It smells good. Well, then later that afternoon, I had put it on again and my youngest came and hugged me and she said, oh, you smell good. I'm like, thanks. She was like, you smell like the waffles I had for breakfast. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like maple syrup? It does have a little bit of a maple like yeah. tendency to it. Okay. It is, to me, it's mapley brown sugar. With I'm kind of am feeling like the waffles with some cardamom. Yes, with, with that cardamom spice to kind of, oh yeah, level it out. It's it's so good. But I highly recommend these bottles right here. I think this is that is so. What is this? It's uh 50 mil. So it's what 1.7 ounce. That's and huge. it was 85 dollars. Yeah, so we, we they have the way, guys. I love all. Oh yeah, all we, spectrums. I mean, I have some. Y'all, I wore Britney Spears like up until like 10 years ago. So look, I'm not. <laughs> I love <it. laughs> But this is, they have oils and then they have the perfume sprays. So you can get either. Did you, um, is that this perfume? This is the perfume spray. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, we both perfect. like to go <laughs> all over. I don't care if somebody gets knocked out because I just, I wear the perfume for me, but this one is, it's a, it got an A plus from everybody in my family. So oh, it was, it was a no brainer. I got to get that one. That's, yeah. that's so good. It's so good. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have another full bottle before, have you talked about five? I think I have. I mean, okay. I'm, so we've got I the last, oh no, one, you got that one. I have one kind of, well, we have a mirror one, but yeah. Um, this one 
this cacao libertine and this brand Maison Tahiti. I'm going to butcher the name here, but Tahit. Tahit. They have like vanillas and then they have a cacao cacao. But this one is cardamom chocolate. Mm. So just just want to put it out out there. And I was thinking the reason I even want to bring this up is because Elise is on here. It kind of gives me vibes of our um, velvet haze. If you like velvet haze, but this does not have cardamom in it. But if you like that, you're going to love this one. So just wanted to throw in a little mix of chocolate and cardamom yeah. together. Yeah. There is a favorite chocolate bar I have that is, it's like a honey um, chocolate cardamom. What I, is it? It's called, it's from a brand here called Wild. I've got to send you, this is what Please, I give. I'm out. just going to yep. send you a list. And I, this is what I, I'm going to, I have to, this is like whenever I do gifts, I will put the little chocolate bar on top. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. And it's dark chocolate and it's got like, um, it's kind of healthier, you know, it's made with, honey. well, I love the hue, uh, hue chocolate. Yeah, I love. Favorite, so. yeah. So, but then it's got the cardamom in it and it's like, it blows your mind. <laughs> well, blow my mind, Abby. Okay. Um, so actually, that'll be a fun little like gift a like a little candy bar on top of the, I know I've got some dove chocolates in there. I can send you <laughs> Okay. I don't know. So, be the just wanted to put that one out there for chocolate. <laughs> but okay, should we do our mirror one? Yes. Okay. Yes. You have a full bottle. I only have a sample, um, but I will have a full bottle. And I almost is... bought yours. So I'm glad that we're on the same. Oh, wait, have you smelled this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was. Oh, say. my goodness. But this one, this one is still my favorite from the house. Yeah. Like, I like the one you're about, about to talk about, but this, this is definitely. My so favorite. we're talking about pen palettes, oh um, and this is from the Portrait series, which you guys I just love. Like their the, the bottle, you know. Let's we part of buying perfume again is the whole thing, art, the yep. bottle, everything. But I love the stories. Like they have a story behind each one, and like and the whole experience of buying from them is good so tell me i because i have i literally have almost bought the one we're talking about i can't y'all i can't stop smelling it honestly i can't say it's my favorite out of all the ones because every i love all of these but man this is good this is again i just have the little sample but it is um the bewitching yasmin and it's mm -hmm. from the portraits collection it has a cat on it yeah, um, as the, the top Each of them have different heads. Oh my goodness! Okay, this has cardamom and coffee. Ooh. On the top. Oh, okay. Jasmine, yeah, jasmine and fur in the middle, Ooh. and then vanilla, oud, and incense on the base. But yeah. here's the thing: it's sweet to me. Yeah, I was gonna say I remember it's, it being like because I smelled all of them. Oh. Oh. Uh, you, know, so you know when you're like you need that one we were saying what present you're gonna get <laughs> this i know i know i know i'm trying i'm telling myself i'm gonna buy a bottle this month is gonna be for our thing next month but maybe i'll buy two and get this one too because i love it so much all right you talk about yours yeah but you i love okay because now i want to pull my sample out of that um Oh, okay. UPS is here. Zeus is about to have a come apart. Just so okay. you know, I hear you. <laughs> I love it. Oh, good. I love it. Um, okay. This is changing constants. And yes. this one gets often compared to number one. Mm -hmm. But this does not have coffee in it. So this one I find is sexier, more addictive. This is my sweet. This is my more yeah. sweet. It is sweet. It's kind of apple pie. It's salted caramel. Yeah. It has a, yeah. It's a sweet one. So if you're somebody who gravitates towards sweeter fragrances, I kind of wanted to mention this one because um, it's a beauty. It is so good. And it's like so likable. And I, again, got this like during the winter months and I cozy, I sprayed it all over. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just... <laughs> I, I just, you know, when you were just like, this is exactly what I wanted. I got yeah, that. Yeah, kind of like this right here. Yes, <laughs> yes. But it's, the, these are not identical. That's what I always, because people always say, if I own this, you know, this one doesn't have your, it doesn't have that 
depth, I would say. I would say this is my sweet, more fun, playful, whereas this is my like sexier one. (laughs) There's there's justification for having clothes. There is no two people in the world that can justify a perfume purchase like we can. And we use each other to justify (laughs) the perfume purchases. The inane blurs are so bad. Tell me I don't need this. Oh, you need it. You need it. (laughs) Just buy it. Just, just buy it. Well, actually, I do have to say I temper you a little bit because I have to see when she gets super excited about something, then I know that yeah. it's like a real, like, you know, I say we often have to sleep on it overnight because yeah. I would say I will get a perfume and I will totally get that, oh gosh, that high. Yep. And then if I get the high again the next day, then it's a go. You but, know. Yep. but you know what I mean? There's sometimes when you're just like, like, like we both get super excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we don't talk about it again. But if I text you for like four days in a row saying, I really want me, which you've, yes. been, you've been telling me about that okay. one. So that one you're getting, um, yeah, and you're, I'm definitely getting this it. one it does not last as long. Um, this is the complaint about this one is that it doesn't have super long lasting. I often, you guys put spray things on my clothes. Uh-huh. Um, and so, uh, you know, like longevity, everybody's chemistry is going to be different. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can have something that will last on me and something that will go poof on others. But I do like to spray in front of me, walk through it. So a little of it will get in your hair and on your clothes. Oh, I spray it directly on my hair. I know they sell hair mist. I know they do. I know they're like, oh, perfume's going to dry out your hair. But you know what? My philosophy is I could get hit by a bus tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. So who cares if I have dry hair? I'm spraying it (laughs) in my hair. I want to smell good. I I spray it on my neck. I spray it. Oh yeah. Sometimes if I'm wearing shorts or skirt, I'll spray it behind my knees. I thought you were gonna say you spray it on your butt. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I'm sure somebody has. (laughs) I don't know. Now you're giving me an idea. Oh my gosh, I just like popped in. I was like, oh Um, yeah, that was so good. Um <laughs> well, we made it under an hour. I so. actually am kind of impressed because you guys, we at first both had 10, um, mm-hmm. didn't we? We had yeah. so many, and it's then like we did eight we and were, 10, we narrowed it down. And we were mirroring on a few mm-hmm. of the uh, because we do tend to like similar things, but we have enough difference. Like I think that's what's gonna make the series fun. Um it's definitely gonna be fun because I feel like you are more you do like those rose fragrances. Yes. And I am more like two bros, two bros, two bros. And I know you're right. not the biggest fan of that. So well, we definitely I think it's, it's funny because I was a tube head. Like I back in the day it was yeah. Tuberose. So I think for me, it just is like, oh, I did so many of those. Yeah. Carnal flower, you know, like, um, you know, so I think now, and I used to not like rose. Like, so, and now I've just been like lately, I've been like, oh my gosh. Um, so a coming up with roses, guys. Not a lot of, but our next one, I think we should pimp our next note because we okay. are kind of going back and forth between what we yeah. should pick. Um, I think so. We're going to try to do this every month. So, yes. our October note is going to be one that I think everybody can enjoy. And to me, it is one of the most versatile notes because yeah. you can have like extremely masculine type scents oh. with this, and you can have like put it in a bowl and eat it type sense. Right. Yeah. So, and it's going to be vanilla. So that is going to yeah. be our note of October is vanilla. And we are going to have some really, really, really good ones. I think we'll be beyond five. Just so probably. Um, yes. Probably. <laughs> but then she made me laugh. She's like, well, I'm going to go. I, Cause I have so many, but I was like, well, of course we need to get. Well, um, I do too. Four. But I mean, I feel like every note series Every month it has to have a new one, right? I, exactly. And right? <laughs> would you say we got a question about elegant perfumes? And the, I, I, yeah, sorry. I thought like I do. I love the note thing, and I think that we'll definitely stay on this for a while. But I do think we could do themes then months, you know. Yeah. So I think we can definitely do like a signature scent theme one month, or a elegant theme, or you know, a sweet I, theme, something like that. 
I think that'd be fun because F and L be yeah. like, is this office appropriate or right. wedding inspired? I think we could have fun branching out, but this is just something that we have been wanting to do together because we talk about it so much yeah. and think that we're both down the rabbit hole way. <laughs> down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, and wait, I got to do one thing. Oh, because you guys never see my other. Oh, okay. Oh, let me see if Zeus will come in here for everybody. Okay, guys, we might, um, we're going to have one little puppy. She's got the big giant puppy. And I have got, um, this is Olaf. And if you haven't met this crazy. And he's, he's all curled up on the couch. He has no interest in coming to say hi. This is my original Satchmo. Hey, Satchmo. He's so precious. Those little, the oh, white cheeks just did was, me. It was the eyebrows that oh, were so precious. It's, um, okay, little dog fest, a little whatever. But you guys, thank you so much. We are excited. And yes, you guys will see us next month. And um, I hope everybody has a fantastic Labor yes, Day weekend. Long weekend. Long weekend. Yes. Um, Yay. Okay, so we're gonna just okay. put all of them on, or are you gonna pick one? Are you already? Picked? I already put all of them on, but okay. I'm gonna spray some more, okay. especially of this bewitching Yasmin. Because I'm gonna go for this guy today. It is bewitching. <laughs> um, okay, you guys, thank you so much. Have a great weekend, and we bye. will see you soon. Bye bye. Have a week.